hay héroes en el mundo del crimen. Solo hay hombres que han decidido vivir fuera de las leyes. Algunas personas pueden decir que hay otras maneras de vivir, pero yo ya no tenía otra elección. Y al final, acepté convertirme en criminal. Tu padre ya ha encontrado trabajo. Podrás tener un buen porvenir. ¿En serio? Sí. Señor Merlin, venga. Es una niña preciosa. Hola, ¿cómo ha ido la guerra? Chucky. Estabas con tus amigos y tus putas. Si te vas con ellos, llamaré a la policía. Entre mis amigos y tú elegiré siempre a mis amigos. ¿Podría ayudarte? Sí, supongo que sí. ¿Cuándo vas a dejar de traerme a todos los perros callejeros que te encuentras? ¿Sí? ¿Qué? ¿Me has llamado perro callejero? ¿Por qué te cabreas tú? De acuerdo, cálmate, cálmate. ¿Y cómo te llamas? Jen. ¡Todo el mundo quieto! Estoy dispuesto. Yo también. Ahora robas en mi casa. ¿Algún problema? No irás muy lejos. Voy a donde quiera. El Estado no te quiere, la policía te busca pana por ti. ¡De rodillas! Yo no puedo cubrirte. Bienvenido a la unidad especial correccional. Antes del otoño, o nos fugamos o morimos. Mi amor. En cuanto me recupere, iré a por ti. No quiero que lo hagas. Si te digo que voy a por ti, es que pienso hacerlo. Saben que vendrás. Te matarán. No. Aún no han podido matarme. Mesrin parte 1. Instinto de muerte. I'm Bats, and I'm IMAX, and this is Phil Freaks. Banned in uh, 237 countries. <laughs> That's an official Phil Freak fact right there. Oh, <laughs> That means you're doing something right. You're doing something fucking wrong. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> That's starring Vincent Cassell, Gerard Depardieu, and the director is Jean-Francois Roche. Mm -hmm. And um, it was based on a book actually written by the gangster himself, Jacques Mazarin, you know what I'm saying? Yo, so that dude was fucking awesome, man. Just in case y'all didn't know, this was like the official gangster French movie right here. We're doing, this week, we're doing all foreign films that you need to get up on. You gotta get your subtitle game up to fuck with us this week. Listen, I know y'all don't like to read the movies. I know this. Yeah, I know this. We had, to learn to we had to learn to do it too. It took years for me to get into this. Honestly, movie. on some real shit, I can't even see a foreign film unless I see it in a film. Because if I watch it at home, I'll be knocked the fuck out on the couch. I, I, I might goes I mean? off too. You know I have a couple beers up in me and then I'll be, I'll be trash. But these joints right here? Yeah. You need, you go out on that sauce if you don't catch up on one of these joints right here, you know what I mean? You're not falling asleep on these, man. These, these is that work, man. I saw Ms. Reen, I, I took a chick on a date to go see this. Oh, okay, that's interesting. You know what I mean? That's she was like, yo, this joint is crazy right here, man. I'm like, yeah. Put on with some work. It was like a French Scarface. It was. You that, know what I mean? mean? And that's why we're talking about movies like... These joints like this, you may not heard about them, but you definitely need to check. And that's why we had to start. We had to start off with this one. Yeah, yeah. We had to start this, off this because you had to check this out. Because this one has two parts to it. Yeah. Because I took the girl to see part one, but she didn't make it back to see part two. <laughs> that's the life of a film freak. You, you know what I mean? We gotta make these moves. We gotta make. We them. gotta make a move. You know what I mean? Same date time. She told me, yo, you ever check that part two out? I said, yeah. <laughs> First day, actually. First day. I don't know where you was at, but I know where you guys are at. So y'all can check out part two of Miserine, Public Enemy number one. Here we go. ¿Se considera un individuo peligroso? Peligroso, sí. Es posible. ¿Y qué espera viviendo una vida así? <risa> qué pregunta. Siempre dinero. ¿Por qué hace todo esto? No quiero vivir un sueño. ¿Cómo te llamas? Silvia. No quiero ser un esclavo de por vida de mi despertador. ¡Policía, entréguese! El tribunal y el jurado. Condena. 
Jack Merrin a la pena de 20 años de reclusión mayor. Venga, enciérrenme en ese agujero, sí, claro. Te echo de menos. Pero me escaparé. Me he fugado tres veces. Me llamo François Bess. ¡De eso les doy mi palabra! ¡Baja, baja! ¡Preparados para la batida! Todos están de acuerdo en que Jack Merrin debe ser considerado el enemigo público número uno. Número uno. ¿Tiene proyectos? Voy a cerrar las cárceles. Yo he estado cinco años, cinco años, ¿eh? He visto cómo maltratan a los hombres, cómo los destrozan. Y si tengo que acabar con algunos jueces, lo haré. ¿Qué chorradas son estas? Tú quieres destruir el sistema para vengarte. Yo, en cambio, quiero que continúe para aprovecharme de él. Pero como siempre quieres tener la última palabra, vas a acabar solo. Así es como acabarás, Merlin. Solo. Pase lo que pase, ya. Tú serás mi hijo, por favor. Perdóname. Somos criminales, Jack. No somos revolucionarios. No pretendemos destruir el sistema. ¡La cagarás, Merlin! ¿Cómo cree que será su vejez? No creo que envejezca mucho más. Mesrin parte 2. Enemigo. 4 bank heist. No, 42. 32 bank heist. 32 bank heist. 4 high security prison breaks. 4 prison breaks. Made Jacqueline Jack Mesrin public enemy number 1. You wanted the illest that ever did it. Yo, he was the illest. He broke out of jail. Yeah. Yo, yeah. I kind of want to say, I got, man, we want to say this. Cause we don't, I got to tell you this. Can I, I don't, we don't usually do these, but he didn't tell him. He broke out of jail in part one. And he broke back in to get his homie out. <laughs> he broke back in the jail. And that's not even a spoiler, you know what I mean? That's just yeah, the yeah, legend yeah, of the yeah, book. Yeah, 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 He just was, just he just does for him work. You ain't never seen that in film ever, have you? you that's why you need to. We'll put you on, man. You know no. what I'm saying? Vince Cassell was Excellent. a beast in this film, man. Supreme, supreme beast. You don't know who Vince Cassell is. Go and look him up. He in a lot of dope stuff. But this right here is like definitive Vince Cassell. Awesomeness. They filmed this in reverse chronological order. Because, he, you know, he got bigger near the end, so he lost the weight. And then they, so they did it backwards. So he would lose the weight so they could start to film it in the beginning. You know what yeah, I'm saying? So yeah, they did yeah, that yeah. on some... It's filmmaking technique type yeah, thing. Yeah, it was a dope flick, man. You gotta check out Misery, Part 1 and 2, Killer Instinct, Public Enemy. Awesome. Awesome, awesome flicks, man. You check putting, it ASAP. Put, putting you on for these foreign films. Don't front on the foreign films, man. Please. They got subtitles, but you gotta check them out. You read a little bit, but you get so much more when you're not reading. When the action is on, it's on. You ain't gotta read nothing. Trust us. It's yeah. good stuff. Good stuff, man. Uh, Definitely. Next joint is uh, Point Blank. Mm. You can check out the trailer for Point Blank, and we're going to come back and rap a taste about it. Toi, t'es mort, toi Je là C'est dehors, alors tu le rappelles et vous demandez ma femme Maintenant Yeah, that was point blank. 
from 2010, directed and written by Fred Kavai, starring Giles Lelouch and Rashdi Zim. Don't flick, man. Man. I caught this in, in the theaters, man, and I was like, yo. Are you caught in the theaters? That was a good look. It was a straight bug out joint. Like, it was like, it was some real, it was like, this dude got caught in this crazy ass situation, man, and they just took you on this thrill ride like you ain't never been on, man. I was like, totally yeah. fucked up over this joint, man. You know, they was talking about doing a, a remake of this, Americanized remake of this, and they was talking about what Mark Wahlberg was talking about. Word. Into producing it. Yeah, that's what that would have been perfect. That's what that's I heard, perfect. you know what I mean? But I don't know exactly what they're going to do, but if you ever get a chance to catch point blank, yes. catch point blank, man, straight up. That's so bad. It's flip. a French crime action thriller. They, they kidnap his pregnant wife and it's just haywire after that. That's all you need to yeah. That's just the jump off. They kidnap yeah. your pregnant wife. Yeah. You know how he I mean, gets crazy. Yeah, he gets real crazy. That jaw is that work. And they already doing a 2014 South Korean remake. Yeah. And Bollywood doing it in 2015. So it's just bouncing all over the yeah, world. Yeah. So I, just, obviously this yeah. got to be that work if everybody's yeah. trying to Everybody trying to get on it. You know what I mean? Work. Obviously it got to be that work. So you got to get on it. We putting you on the front row of this shit right here. So exactly. you got to jump up on it. You know what I mean? Get involved. Get, get involved. involved. You need involvement. So check out Point Blank. Uh, check out Miserine Part 1 and Part 2, and then you can check out the next film that we're doing, is Pines Labyrinth. This is one of that, yeah. Let's check it check out. The trailer. In a dark time, when hope was bleak, there lived a young girl whose only escape was in a legend that wanted her back. The legend speaks of the lost soul of a princess from another world who will one day be reborn. There will be signs that mark her return. There will be secrets that reveal her destiny. There will be a journey that will make you believe. That was Pan's Labyrinth, uh, came out in 2006, Don't Flip. Directed and written by Guillermo del Toro, he's going to be one of them directors we talk about often. Yeah, yeah, you know we, we talked about him a little while ago, and this is another one of his films that we talk about now, man. This film is awesome, man. Starring Ivana Barquer Barquero and Doug Jones, they won three Oscars for Best Art Direction, Cinematography, and Makeup. So that's a major, you know, it's, some real dope stuff going on here. This, this, I'm gonna be very frank with you right now. You okay. know what I mean? Definitely. This film right here is what kind of introduced me into foreign films. Okay. This is my entry, like this, because I, 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 I would see foreign films here and there, like, let me, but I, this is the first foreign film that I went to see in the theaters. You know what I mean? Nice. Like, this is a dope joint to see. Yeah, in the yeah, place. like, like, and, and yeah. Yeah, so if you at the scene, this, I was like, wow. You know what I mean? This is that work right here. You know what I mean? Because it was really nothing. I've never seen a film like this. 
it's because it was a combination of fantasy and, and a little bit of drama. drama. Yeah. It was a war flick. So you got all these different genres crashed into one. And the special effects was... And, and, and Del Toro's just an awesome director, you know what I mean? He's so busy. He what busy. he did with this was was, was awesome, man. He awesome. made magic on the screen. This, this, exactly. He literally made magic exactly. on the screen with this one. Exactly. This was like a 2006 darker version of uh, The Wizard of Oz. How about that? Yeah, you know I mean? You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? And um, here's how thorough Del Toro is. Because, you know, we do the subtitles. So he translates his own subtitles word for word. He don't leave it to the people to do it because he don't want them to ruin his vision. So when you get the subtitles on the DVD, that's actually Del Toro translating himself because he don't leave it to nobody else to do his thing. Oh, that boy's at work, he's, he, that work, He's... Salute, you the MVP. This week, Del Toro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He's at work, man. So you gotta check out Pan's Labyrinth, man. It's an awesome, awesome flick. Definitely you something you gotta will not check. be disappointed when you check this joint out. Will not. At all. And you won't be disappointed when you check this next one. And this, this is one of those. This foreign film. Oh, man. This is the City of God. You know what I'm saying? So, um. City of God. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a it's an interesting story about how I got introduced to this flick, but check out the trailer for City of God. Rio de Janeiro. The beach. The nightlife. The romance. But 15 miles from paradise <laughs> is a place called the City of God. A place where one man must infiltrate a war between two crime lords to tell a story the world needs to know. The New York Times proclaims irresistible, an exuberant chronicle of crime. A true masterpiece. City of God. That was City of God. Came out in 2002. Yeah, that was directed by Fernando Mireles and Katia Lund. Oh, oh man, Brazil. Yo, Brazil. Yo, we need to do a film freaky episode in Brazil. That'd be danger. You know what I mean? Carnival style and the listen, whole thing. Listen, man, we might not come back. <laughs> you might have to check us out on another time. You know? Right. right. <laughs> That was a dope flick, man. Listen, that was adapted from the 1997 novel by Rollo Maldivani. You know what I'm saying? The same name, City of God. You know, and it was, um, that was a, that was some, some real work. Yo, the cinematography in this was dope. Ah, yeah. The direction was dope. The writing was dope. The, the story, everything about this flick was dope. I'm going to tell you, I got introduced to this by a female friend of mine. Like, she knew I was in films and okay. stuff like that. Right. And this was still, like, this is 2002. But like I said before, I still wasn't in my foreign film bag like that. Because it wasn't until Pan's Library came out in 2006, I actually saw something in the theaters. Right. So this is 2002, and she bought the DVD over the crib, and she was like, yo, we need to check this joint out. So I'm like, what is this? I'm like, this is a subtitle joint. Subtitle. That's you know what I mean? they subtitle joint. That's what all they did hey, at first. Subtitle joint. So she's like, no, you won't really be feeling this joint. So she put it on. I only let, let her put it on because she was bad, you know what I mean? <laughs> so that must have been a double bubble. She was bad and she brought the She bad and she brought it over. I'm like, all right, she put it on. And I'm like, yo, this joint is that work. And you bad. <laughs> that's serious, that's serious certified. You know what I mean? So I got introduced to this by a female, man, and, and, and I'm still loving it in two, from 2002 to 2015. I'm still loving it, man, and I'm recommending it to all of y'all. Y'all need to check out City of God. Listen, and it's uh, one of the main characters. You know Lil Zay, he was the main gangster yeah, ball. Yeah. He wasn't even an actor. He really from yeah, that hood. Yeah, so yeah. when you see him in his zone, he's not really going, he's not acting. Yeah. That's really how to get down, and that's why he's so authentically natural in the role, so... Y'all need to check this out. Matter of fact, it's on Netflix. You ain't got no, you ain't got no excuse. You ain't got no excuse. Just soon as soon, soon, soon as you, wait, oh, don't, don't turn off our shit to go watch City of God because we still got like two more movies for y'all to check out. Yeah, we got more. But as soon as, as soon as we done, you can go on your Netflix to check out City of God. It's that work, you know what I mean? So the next flick that we putting on is Headhunter. Oh, this is wow. 
Headhunter. It's a wild flick. Yeah, I mean, check out the trailer for Headhunter, and we'll be right back. Wait. Let's start at the beginning. This is Roger Brown, corporate headhunter. Addicted to luxury, buried in debt, and hiding a secret life. And this is the man. Please, can you? With a deadly past. Så man rätt att det är rätt på film. And a priceless secret. Klas Greve har ett äkta rubus. Hur mycket tror du det är värt? Kanske hundra. Vad är kandidat? Det är de mikroskopiska scenerna. Vad är det? Det är det på allt. Så det var så skjedde. Var det noen der? Så jeg sliter ut. Er det noe? That was Headhunter, 2011. Yeah, that was directed by Morton Taldum. It stars Axel Henney and Sanoa McCody Lunt. Yo, this jaw was a bug out, man. Yeah, it was a lot going on in this flick, man. Yo, I love of... this flick right here, man. You gotta, please, do me a personal favor by checking out this flick. A lot of crime, a lot of, a lot of thriller. This is, this is... A lot of twists and turns in this jaw, man. This, like... I love paying a lot of reef, but I'm a film freak. So it was really like filmy and real right. stuff like that. But this type of flick right here, even if you're not a f like in the f foreign films or in the film, this is crazy work right here, man. Listen, this, this is how you know it's real work. This is a Norwegian flick, right? This is Norwegian's, Norwegian, Norwegian's biggest blockbuster. Yeah. It's the highest grossing film in the country. And it's ever. well deserved because this flick is awesome. On so many levels. Headhunter. Yeah. 2011. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you know, I gotta, I gotta keep reiterating the fact that what the name is, so y'all can go check this joint out. And check it out before Americans remake it, because Summit Entertainment they bought, they've been bought the remake to do it. Mm -hmm. And you know, they bought, they bought the movie even before it got released. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Cause it was based on the 2008, 2008 novel of the same name. So as soon as they knew the movie, they like, oh, we gonna jump on it too, because it's that work. And you gotta catch the originals before they make them in America because they kind of they twist them up and change them up or whatever. Like that. You ain't gonna get this same kind of work. Nah, nah. They be they be letting they be letting it fly overseas. They don't be filtering nothing that much. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's why we put you on with the originals because most of these joints gonna get remade anyway. Mm -hmm. And you're gonna be able to see it, but it's gonna be watered down. So get the get that real work. Catch you know I mean? this joint right here, man. I caught I caught this at the flicks. Oh, I, I, I missed the I, 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 I was all over. This man, yeah. I saw the trailer for this, and I was like, I'm, I'm there. Right. First night. I mean, ain't nobody stopping me. First I night. You know what I mean? I don't care what it was. I don't care who you talking about. Oh, I don't want to go see that. I want to go see the t Tyler Perry movie. <laughs> then you go see the Tyler Perry movie, and I'm gonna go see this because this is that work. I don't know what Tyler gonna be doing. I know what this right. thing is gonna be doing. You know what I mean? It's like you can understand it even if you can't understand the language. We yeah. understand that better because yeah. it's that work. This is John. You ain't even gotta read the subtitle for real, for real. It's, it's so just much work. action. It's just it's so much just action. It's work the whole fucking yeah. time. You know what I mean? It's so more you action. Gotta check out Headhunter. You know what I mean? Yeah. Out of all of these Johns, you really gotta check out Headhunter. You gotta check them all out, but City of God and Headhunter, you gotta check it out. You know what I mean? Dope shit. Dope shit. And hang on to dope shit. We gonna do for y'all. We been talking about other foreign joints in the past. We gonna come. We gonna come futuristic right yeah, now. Yeah, 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 yeah. We, gonna, we just caught something last listen, night. Listen, we was trying to do a whole nother movie. 
to talk about. Scrapped it. But we scrapped it. Scrapped. And because we, me and Tone went to the theaters last night, and we saw this, John. It was crazy vicious. Crazy vicious. And if you got a chance, you need to go to the flicks and check it, because you know what I'm saying? It, 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 it's in the flicks right now. You can go down to the Ritz 5 right now. Well, not right now, because we're taping this. But whenever you see this, you can go down to the Ritz 5. But you got to get there fast, man, because them joints, they don't yeah. be staying around, yeah. man. Yeah, they be in and out in the week, and, and, and there ain't nothing you can do about it. Check the trailer out right now so you can see exactly. Check the trailer out for Wild Tales. Lo que te estoy proponiendo me avergüenza, y mucho. Pero nos conocemos desde hace años y siento que tenemos esta confianza. ¿Trabajo o placer? Las dos cosas, espero. Dale, Salame, muévete. Hermano. Buenas noches, ¿uno solo? Creo que sos buena para las matemáticas. El acta de infracción dice que el auto estaba mal estacionado y eso se considera prueba suficiente. Papá. Papá. ¿Qué pasó? ¿Cómo se llama esa chica de pelo largo? Juan. Tu compañera de trabajo. Por culpa de ese tipo se suicidó tu papá y lo único que se te ocurre es insultarlo. Te estoy diciendo que el cordón estaba sin pintar. Sabes que sos un negro resentido, forro. No te puedo creer. Filmame esto, Néstor. A ver, yo estoy describiendo una realidad. ¿no? ¿Dónde, ¿Dónde está la violencia? Yes, sir, that's Wild Tales from 2014. Uh, that's an Argentinian Spanish black comedy. Saying, directed by Damien Zifran. You know what I mean? No. This is um, actually nominated for an Oscar that just passed. It lost to Ida, but it was nominated. But we just getting it in we, Philadelphia. We, we, for the first I mean? time. So it was a drop. We was on it. Yeah, but this was awesome. Like I said, we were supposed to do a whole other film for this show, but we scrapped that for this because we saw it last night, man. We was like, yo, we doing foreign films. It so fit right got, into the it, flow. We you got know. it. We got to hit him in the head with this jaw, man. Wild Tales is awesome, man. It's an anthology of what? Are six different stories? Six different stories. About revenge. They, they got one of them stories up before the credits even roll yeah. in. A quick yeah. five minute jaw yeah. just to get you yeah. warmed up. Yeah, bro. And it's. Oh, and it's and then you chill off, man. Yo, this joint was awesome, man. We in the theater checking it out. It ain't nothing but beautiful Argentinian women sitting in the theaters with us. You know what I mean? I'm in my bag, like you know what I mean, looking around. I'm like, yo, man, where the popcorn at? You know what I mean? <laughs> and it's funny because it's never really them type of that audience at the theater. Yeah, yeah. They yeah. was excited to see the movie. I think they didn't even they didn't even need subtitles. They was literally just yeah, yeah. watching the flick. I caught you know a couple girls. They was like talking the language. You know what I mean? In the back of us. And you know, yeah, I shush people when they talking, but they were so bad. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> we might have to do a show in Argentina. You know what I mean? No. And it's funny because that's the most seen film in Argentina, so you know that. This is one of the best joints they ever had from the country. You know what I'm saying? Gotta check out Wild Tales. It's in the theaters today. Right now. And you gotta check it out, man. That is that work, man. It got a 10 minute standing ovation at the Cannes Film Festival. People were just cheering. 10 minutes. 10 minutes. They couldn't stop cheering for the joint because it was that work. Yo, you gotta check this out, man. All of these clips you gotta check out, man. This is Film Freaks certified foreign film episode. Get your subtitle game up. It won't take long. Just a little bit of reading will take you a long way. We yeah. promise you. We get promise you. Get your reading on. Like you can read 
the Film Freak page. Exactly. You know what I mean? Right Freak there. The same just, way. just like that. It's like a subtitle. Film Freak page. www.filmfreaks. No, www.facebook.com slash Freaks for Films. And you can check out the YouTube page. And all of that, I need you to subscribe to the YouTube page. Please get it in. Please get in there and subscribe to the YouTube page. And uh, you can check out all of these episodes. We got the uh, Hip Hop Cinema episode. Of course. We got the Black Exploitation episode. We got the Oscar snubs. We got the Oscar episode. We got the films you missed in 2014. All of these shows you need to check out. You know what I mean? And all we're doing is prepping you because we're about to get busy for 2015. The summer yeah, is about yeah, to, the summer is about to bust up. So we're just getting ready. That's why we're in here. But soon we're going to be out and about. We're going to be all in the world giving you what you need. Yeah, we're going to be in your face asking how you feel about films and everything. So you need to be on the lookout for us. We'll be up at the King of Prussia Mall at the IMAX Theater. We'll be all down at the They know what's in them lines, B. Be legendary in them things. Listen, we'll be down at the Ritz. We'll be down at the Rave. All of those theaters. So check out the Film Freaks. Facebook.com slash Freaks for Films. Check us out on YouTube. Search us on YouTube. The Film Freaks. Exactly. And we'll be there, man. That's what we do, man. Definitely. You know, you know how we do it, man. Everything good, man? Yo, man, we're going to check these four. We, we got more foreign film to catch. Yeah. We got yeah. more. We, we might get into that mess we right about now. That's how we really about to pop that joint. Yeah, we about to go pop it in there. That's how real it is. Get the barbecue popping, man. It's summertime it's coming. It's summertime. Barbecue popping, man. Right? You already know what it is, cuz. <laughs> you already know. So y'all have a good time, man. Have a good week. We'll see you back next week for a new show. I don't even know what the new show is going to be, but we'll be there, and we'll be there with bells on. Yeah, so, y'all have a good time. Film Freaks forever. Bats. I'm IMAX. Film Freaks. Thanks.